Thank you, and let me start with uh, with this. So, first of all, what is PMP? PMP is, uh, uh, stands for Project Management Professional. So it's uh, internationally recognized uh, uh, profession and uh, designated uh, uh, designation offered by the Project Management Institute. It's very, it's the, the standard, if you want, in, in project management. We, you, we have other standards. We have the British standard, my friends do. We have also the Australian, but this one, the American standard is the most famous one. It's the, it's the most uh, the, uh, sought after uh, certificate. So it's very, very famous. Now, uh, research shows that uh, by 2027, uh, employ, uh, employers need, or, or over the world, need more than, look at that, 2.2 million new project-oriented oriented roles each year up to 2020. Each year, 2.2 million new uh, project management roles. So imagine how huge is that? So this certificate will help you a lot to find a new job. It's, it's very easy and uh, if you have uh, any kind of certificate, what, especially this one, the project management, which is about how it shows that you are experienced in managing change in general, because project is about change. Now, let me tell you this, uh, as per the CIO magazine, uh, PMP as the top project management certificate in North America. Look at that. The median salary for project professionals is 25% higher than those without the certificate. Uh, what, what this certificate uh, do is it demonstrates, demonstrates that you have the skills and the dedication the employer needs uh, to fulfill any job position uh, if, if there are anything related to projects. And there is a lot of that there. Now, it shows that you, you have the skills and you know how to manage people, how to lead, and you know the terms, the, the uh, tools that use in project management. Now, the good thing is it's not difficult. In fact, it's not. Uh, you can learn it. Anyone can. Now, uh, what if you don't have previous knowledge uh, in, uh, or experience in managing a project? Can you still apply? Yes, you can. It's a little bit harder. Absolutely, if you are, if you don't know anything about project management, but still you can apply and you can pass, in fact, the exam as well. Uh, let me tell you that we all over the world we have one million active PMP certification holders. Uh, we have uh, chapters all over the world to uh, take care of project management in each country. So here in UAE, in UAE we have. Khaliji chapter. Khaliji chapter is the chapter who manage and who uh, deliver courses and organize seminars and conferences uh, about project management. So every now and then you will be, if you are a member of the PMI, the Project Management Institute, if you are a member, uh, you will be invited to those conferences and you attend all these for free, all the conferences, meetings uh, in the country for free. So the advantage, the first advantage of, of being, not PMP now, just a minute, being a PMI member. So we have two things, being a member, which is something you can do it right now after this webinar, you can go to pmi.org, pmi.org and register as a member. Now the registration fees is $145. $145, the registration, just registration. Now, this is one year fees. This is one year fees. Now, what's the advantage of being a member? Many, like what? First of all, as a member, you, you will have a discount uh, fees for the exam. If you want to apply for the exam, there will be a discount in the exam fees. So the exam fees is, 555 US dollar, 555. Now, the membership fees, if you, if you are a member, will be deducted from that. So you will pay about 405, something like that. So exactly what you paid for membership will be deducted from exam fees. Okay, this is one advantage. If you are a member, you have uh, 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 exam fees that is
my team, it seems like mine is facing some uh, technical difficulties and should be back in just quite just in a few minutes or moments. So just bear with us and he'll be right back. The technical team is uh, on it, guys, and it'll be just a few moments until man is back. Lots of things to cover in the PMP exam preparation. So just bear with us until man is back. Seems like his connection just went down. Yes, mine is mine is back. Team, are, are you with me? Sorry for that. I don't know what's uh, what's happening here. Okay, are you with me, team? Is it okay? Yes, we are here. Are we back? Okay, very good. Yes, so, what what I was saying is, uh, I don't know something in the in the Zoom something. So here, guys, uh, the the first uh, thing that you will uh, the, the exam fees will be deducted. The other one is, you can download all the books you need for the PMP certificate, not only the PMP certificate, for other certificate from PMI, other certificate like uh, risk management, like business analyst, you can download all the materials for free. As long as you are a member, you can download these all the time because, uh, because you are a member. So you will have this for free. This is the second advantage of being a member. The third advantage of being a member is you attend all these seminars and uh, all these conferences for free. And the advantage of attending those is it's an opportunity to communicate and network and find uh, uh, a job, a new job or, or new opportunity to join new companies. It's really amazing. Now, uh, with, the, with the PMP certificate, how can you get this uh, uh, if you want now to be a certified? Now, the advantage of being certified is it's a, a, a very respected and well-known certificate. And the good news, it's not difficult to have it. Maybe if you have, I'll tell you what, approximately you need maybe one month if you know a little bit about project manager management. If you are not a project manager of, or you don't know anything about project management, uh, maybe you need two months. That's it. So it's not that difficult. Uh, the good news is, the, the new exam, because PMI changed the exam content since 2021, and the new exam content is, is easier. Now you have less to memorize, more to understand. That's the difference between the new exam, because they changed that in January 2nd, this 2021, they change it. Now you have less to memorize, more to understand. That's it, so it's more about understanding. And usually we have a lot of formulas and no formulas anymore, no formulas. You only understanding, that's a good thing. And as you know, maybe that you can apply for the exam either from home, online, or you can go to a proctor center, to a center to have the exam. You, you have both uh, ways to apply for the exam. Now. Usually, if you are certified, you will get a look at this here, 25% uh, more in, uh, earning salary increase or earning than non-certified uh, project manager. Now, uh, how can you, uh, how, how, uh, what's the eligibility requirements to be a, a project manager? So you have two options. Either you hold a university uh, degree pay four years degree or five years degree, or you have a high school diploma or any, any degree that uh, equivalent, a global equivalent de degree. Now, if you have a university degree, you have to document and prove that you have 
36 months of experience in working and leading projects. If not, if you don't have this uh, university degree, uh, then they need six months of experience working in project, any project, any type of project, and any type of work. Now, what if you don't? What if I don't have any experience project management? Now we, in SELECT, we have two types of certificate, and both are uh, accredited by PMI. One is CAPM, which is Certified Associate in Project Management. This requires no previous knowledge in anything in project management, Certified Associate in Project Management. And uh, this is easier by far. It's easier than the PMP. We also provide this kind of training. And we have the PMP. Now, if you apply for the CAPM, which is easier and also very famous and recognized, and people are looking for that as well. If you apply for this, now, you have, uh, or you can, let me say, uh, you can apply for PMP within five years. Now, having the CAPM exam will allow you to apply for PMP without having any previous knowledge in project management. Now, but if you have a work experience for 60 months in project management, still you can apply for the exam. You can. So either you start with the CAPM, which is easier, okay, and the exam is only three hours, while the, in the PMP it's four hour exam. One is three, one is four hours. And uh, the PMP need uh, 60 a month experience. That does not. The cap M, it doesn't need any kind of experience. Uh, but you can apply directly for the PMP. And we will provide you with the training. Uh, and you can study also yourself if you want. Uh, you can also uh, study and be experienced uh, about project management. Now, what you need in addition to uh, having the university degree, or high school diploma and this kind of experience, you need 35 hours of project management education training or CAPM. You see here the CAPM. This is the certified associate in project management. So 35 hours, this is a must. You cannot apply for the exam without this. From where you will get it? From, from let's say, from us, from SELECT. We are providing this certificate. Why? Because we, because we are authorized training uh, provider. We are authorized. So, uh, uh, guys, uh, are, are we okay? Team? No, oh, not aligned. Team, my camera is not aligned. Thanks for letting me know. Is it? Oh, oh, this one. Here. Okay. Is it okay now, guys? Can you see me clearly? Yeah, a bit more, man. Yes. Is it more? Okay, more, yeah. more. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there. Okay. We can see your hands and face now. <laughs> Thank oh, okay. you. Why you didn't tell me, guys? Okay. That's because PMI is too heavy. That's why I get down and down. That's the reason. Okay, guys. So 35 hours. This 35 hours is training that we provide. You need uh, an authorized training partner. We are authorized training partner to PMI. So from, from us, you get this. Without it, you can, it's a must. So three things, university degree or high school, uh, 36 months or 60 if you have uh, a high school and 35 hours training. For this 35 hour training, uh, you will learn all the techniques and the tools and uh, uh, processes, procedures, everything about project management and the terminology used in project management, which is necessary to apply for the exam. Now, let's talk a little bit about the exam. The exam itself, uh, here, the exam is 180 questions. 180 questions. Now, previously it, it was 200, now it's 180. And as I told you guys, questions are much easier now. Those are easier. Now, uh, you have uh, to finish those about four hours, but here it is exactly. It's two, uh, for, the, for the question is 2.30, but I'll tell you what, you have a break. You have 10 minutes break. In fact, you have two breaks. So the total exam is 2.50, 250 minutes, 250 minutes. So it's more than four hours, but you have two 10 minutes break. Now here how it goes. First of all, 
after you answer 60 questions, after you answer 60 questions, you, ha you have the option. So a message will show, um, will show that you can have a break for 10 minutes. Now you can, uh, you can stop and uh, go to have, uh, do whatever you like. Do, uh, if, if it is online, you can leave the room and do whatever you like. The only thing you have to be careful of is you cannot review these 60 questions. The 60 questions that you answered and after you are done and after you saw the message, you cannot review it again. It's done. That's it. Now you have another 60 question. Again, after 60 question, you have, if you want, if you choose not to have it, you can go with the whole four hours. In that case, all 180 questions are at your disposal. You can review any of these. But if you choose to have the break, you cannot review what, what is done. So you have two breaks after 60, 60. Now, what if you consume, let's say, for the first 60 question, you consume three hours? That's it. It means what, what the, the, the time remaining, you have only one hour for the, whole, for the whole hour questions. So be careful. In the exam, you know why people fail the exam? Because they cannot manage the time. You need to manage. I, I will discuss about that. You have to manage the time. It's very important to be careful about the time. This is a, a must. Now, uh, the question is now uh, um, has, uh, has uh, so many type of questions. You have multiple choice question. You have multiple response. So you have a scenario, okay, a scenario. And they will ask you, choose two best options, the most uh, 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 appropriate two uh, options, maybe. The most three, the best one, the best four, whatever they think, they can ask you any, anything, anything. The previous exam was always four options and you select one. Now they will ask you to select three out of seven or maybe matching, drag and drop. You see the, the exam change, matching. So this is a definition and we have terms, match those terms to those definitions. We have hotspots, which is what? They will show you a graph and on the graph, the, there is A, B, C. So what's A? What's B, what's C? They will ask you. And there are a list of choices. You will not type anything. You, you will only pick. So A is this, D is this. You match that um, or with the chart. So what is on the chart with a list of cho choices? And there is a fill in the blank. Even fill in the blank is you drag it and drop it. So you have choices, multiple choices. You drag and drop it in the fill in the blank. Now, not difficult, by the way, and, and very easy, very easy. There are five non-graded uh, questions. Uh, don't worry about those. Those are for future exams. So they want to know if people understand those questions. They are not graded. Even if you fail to, know, to answer those, it's not graded. The problem is you don't know what are those five questions. You don't know what. So the thing is, you have to answer all. Now, what is the passing score, if you ask me? Uh, now, PMI uh, will not, did not at all tell what is it. They did, not, uh, they did not declare or say or inform anyone about that. But it's estimated to be, I mean, the passing score, 65% of the question. 65, more or less. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But about 65% of the questions you have uh, to answer them. The result is exactly directly after the, after you answer uh, the last question, they will ask you, are you sure? A uh, few seconds and they will tell you pass or fail. There is no excellent, no, no. It's either pass or fail, that's it. Even if you, you know, answer all the question correctly, it's either pass or fail, only that. Uh, team, if you have a question, please feel free. Any question? Now. Uh, why people fail the exam? Why? First of all, lack of project management experience because people uh, have no previous experience. Now, this is a reason, but how can we overcome that? By more studying and training. This is something we can help you with because that's what we will provide you during the training, the experience. We will uh, explain so many scenarios, why you select that answer? Why is this? Why is that? So many of these. So and we have we have so many resources to help you with that. Also, uh, some people are already project managers. It, it, now it's the opposite. 
because you are an experienced project manager, because you fail. I'll tell you why. <laughs> because it seems strange, right? Here is the reason. Because you answer the questions from your own perspective, from your own experience, not from PMI point of view. For the exam, you have to answer using the PEM book, the book, the reference. We will, you will have it for the, the, the PMI way of managing project. Now, you may ask yourself, why do I, I have to answer from the, their, their way? In fact, it's not the PMI way. It is a standard, all project managers all over the world, thousands, let me say, a hundred of thousands of project managers from all over the world, from all domains, from all sectors, they participated in developing the, the guide, the project management, the PEM book, the project management body of knowledge. It's a book they develop a project management body of knowledge. That body of knowledge, it's a, a, a result of experience of uh, human effort and project managers all over the world from all industry. That's why they need you to stick to that. It is generally recognized as a common, as best practice. That's why. That's why they need you to answer because it's the best thing mankind have in project management. Now, uh, one of the reasons to, uh, to fail the exam, other reason to uh, fail the exam is not reading carefully the questions. Guys, a lot of, of these uh, is happening, which you, you are in a hurry and you read the question, you, you, don't, uh, you are not careful when you read the question. So maybe they are asking you what is not a reason, let's say, what is not a reason to use that tool? Or what is, so you have to pay attention to the wording itself. And now, because it's for, for our exam, it's, it's a huge, right? Uh, it, and a huge number of questions. Because it's for our, you will feel, uh, you will uh, feel after three hours, you will feel what we call exam fatigue, which is after three hours, you will answer and you will say to yourself, you know what? Even if it's wrong, I, I want to finish this. I'm, I'm done. I, I, I'm not feeling well. I, I want to finish this. I want to get rid of the whole thing. You know, pay attention to that. That's why it's very, very much recommended that use the break, uh, break time. Use that breaks. Use them, the 10 minutes. So you are relaxed and you are uh, reactivated, let me say, and avoid this exam fatigue thing. Now, failing to manage time during the exam, uh, my recommendation for the exam, if you want to apply, is have milestones. Let's say I have to answer because there is a, 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 a clock there. Uh, you will see the time ticking. Now, uh, uh, have yourself a milestone. So maybe say I will answer 10 questions in 10 minutes. Check that. Maybe if, uh, 25 questions in 25 minutes. Whatever it is, the milestone you have. So make sure you are on that. Otherwise, you will feel, you will find yourself, uh, you are in, uh, in a hurry and uh, you know, you don't have enough time and you start answer, answer anything. Pay attention to that. Now, very important. Those guys in, in PMI, uh, they have questions, a lengthy questions. They intentionally do that. A, a question, let's say a one page question, one page. So you have to read one page. Don't do that, especially for these lengthy questions. Don't read the questions, uh, the, the, the scenario, I mean. Don't read the scenario. Read the question, not the scenario. So they need you, based on the scenario, to answer the question. But not all scenarios, but not all scenarios have, have relation with that question. Maybe the question will ask about something. You can answer it even if you don't read the scenario. So one of the techniques is very important, especially for lengthy scenarios, is don't read the scenario. Read the question, which is the last sentence in the, in the set of questions, the last sentence in the whole uh, question. If you feel that you can answer it without, maybe they are asking maybe how many communication channel a project manager uh, uh, has, uh, or maybe how much, how much, that's uh, by the way, it's an exam question. How much a project manager, how much of his time spend communicating? Is it 60, 70, 80, 90%? The answer for that is 90. 
Now, whether they explain a scenario, whatever the scenario is, I know the answer. The project manager spent 90% of his time communicating. No need to read the scenario. So pay attention to such a question. Now, uh, let, me, let me tell you some tips for the exam. Always you have to improve your skill in solving situational scenario-based question. There is no question at all on the exam, let's say, what are the tools used to, let's say, identify stakeholders? They will not ask you that question, uh, absolutely not. What they will ask you is, you are identifying stakeholder. You are identifying, and they will explain a scenario. Let's say you have a huge number of stakeholders. How can you identify them? What tool are you going to use? Is it questionnaires? Is it uh, meetings? Is it, let's say, surveys? Now, meetings cannot be done because the scenario says we have a huge number of people. Maybe it's surveys. So maybe survey is the tool. So it's situation. You have to read what is there. Is, is it one stakeholder? Is it so many stakeholders? I mean, situational. Or they will ask you, uh, they will explain a scenario and they will ask you what the project manager uh, supposed to do next. Oh, so you need to understand that situation. Or you have in your team a troublemaker. One of your team members is a troublemaker. Now, uh, you have many options. You can fire him. You can discuss with him. You can uh, negotiate. You can uh, replace. I, you need to read the scenario to answer the question. It's not, it's not one. Now, what is, let's say, uh, a scenario again. Now, what is the best conflict management strategy? Usually, the usually in general, the best conflict management strategy is a problem solving and collaborating. But avoidance is a strategy. Avoidance, conflict, we have avoidance and strategy. Is it good? No, not all the time, but sometimes it's good. Avoidance is a good strategy sometimes. I mean, those are situational questions you need to understand. Now, I very much encourage you guys, if you really intend to apply, apply for the exam to do this, go the soonest um, time possible for you, get your application approved early. I mean, if you, if you are for sure you want to apply for the exam uh, and you have all the prerequisite, remember the prerequisite are your university degree or high school, uh, your experience in project management, uh, whether 63 months uh, 60, uh, 63 month or 60 months, and the 35 tra educational training, right? These are the things. Now, Apply, why I am telling you to apply for the exam the soonest uh, possible? Because after you apply for the exam, let's say today I have applied for the exam. What do I mean apply? I need to prove, not prove. Now, at this moment, not prove. Only what I will do now is tell, I will tell PMI, I will document uh, that I have this kind of experience. I have a training with, let's say, select training, and I have a certificate from them. This is the 35 minutes. And this is my university degree. I have a university degree. You don't need to upload any of these yet. Pay attention to that. You don't need to apply, uh, to upload neither your uh, university nor our certificate and even not that documentation, only what projects you have, only that. Now, you may be audited. You may be audited. I mean, those guys in PMI, they will select 2%, 3%, 5% of all people applying for the exam for auditing. They will send you a message that you are audited. Send us your documents. I mean, what proof? Your degree, that you attended 35 hours, and that you have the experience you, you mentioned. Now, how the certificate is easy subject, but what about the experience? Now, you have to uh, provide evidence that I work in this project, in that project, and how they can verify it. You need also to tell them who was your manager, who was the manager, what is his email, his, his mom, uh, mobile number. They will call him, or maybe they will send him uh, a, a, an email asking what was your role in the project. Not all people will have that. Only two to three, or maybe 5% of the people will be audited. Are we okay, team? Do you have any question, please? Is it okay? Now, 
we ha you have two options either to have the exam at home uh, or in a center center based or home based uh, proctored exam so if it is at home there will be a camera and someone is always uh, watching someone is always watching you cannot get out of the sight you cannot do this or that as i did before when i was like this guys you cannot do that you cannot you fail the exam it will be terminated immediately only you can leave the site or the, the camera when you have the breaks the 10 minutes now you cannot have anything on the table anything even a, a cup of water is okay if it's a, the, it's a glass and transparent they can see what is there I, and they will ask you to have photos for the surrounding they may ask you also to move your camera and show them what's going on no one can enter the room if anyone enter forget the exam so you cannot it's 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 strict uh, that's why guys very much recommend use the break because you cannot sit for four hours like that it's, it's difficult uh, if you go to a center now in the center uh, you have uh, yeah, they will give you paper and pen while on, at home online you cannot but you have a whiteboard the, they will give you a whiteboard i mean a click and the whiteboard you can use it if you want to draw something or calculation you have on screen calculation calculator uh, as well so you have on screen calculator if you need uh, maybe you will need a calculate uh, to calculate something now as we said manage your time wisely this is very important keep an eye on that and don't even, don't be nervous no 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 need to be nervous now the the best thing to do for the exam and if you really want to pass, pass the exam is to have a lot of mock exam try that try that yourself pick 200 question set uh, sit for four hours and do that try four five groups of them try about 1000 question you, you will be fine you will get used to the uh, pressure that you will face in the exam and even if you don't pass don't give up don't you have the option to apply for the exam three times if you fail should you fail you can uh, apply uh, three times at half price at half price so it will be uh, have the price of the uh, exam fees so you have three trials uh, three times to try for the exam now what can we help you with uh, we in select what, what can we help you with as we are authorized a, a training partner to uh, pmi you with if you are applied uh, with us uh, uh, and uh, if you uh, register with us to have a training uh, we will provide you with the following one year online access to high quality pmi materials it's not us it's pmi pmi they develop the course materials and you have a pdf you have ebook and you have even slides you have also pre and post course assessment and self knowledge checks this is available to you online from PMI because we are, uh, uh, you know, partner with them. Now uh, you have step step, uh, uh, you know, checklist of step by step procedure and reference material. Uh, you have about about how much? About fifteen or maybe more training videos, training activities, or course mapping. It's amazing. You have templates. Templates like what? Uh, let's say I need a project charter. You have a template for project charter, stakeholder register, risk register, issue log, all these uh, baselines, uh, whatever documents you need in a project, it is there. You have uh, also um, uh, spreadsheets for calculations. You have all these templates there. And you have online locker to keep your files. So if you have files and we uh, are in a training and we are doing these activities, you have your own uh, uh locker that you can keep your files it's yours now one year access this is very important to exam simula simulator this is important very important it's a bank of more than 1000 questions and in and uh, it gets increased and they are adding to that bank every now and then and what we will provide you is the 35 uh pdus by the way pdus is personal development unit personal development unit that's something is a must by the way when you apply for the exam 
and you say, I have a training from select training, they will check, they will verify with us your uh, name and that you have attended the certificate. So they will check it. Have you really attended the course or not? So they have their own way to check. Now, as I told you guys, we are authorized uh, training provider. Uh, we can help you with that. And if you want to know, uh, here, here uh, we, we deliver these courses in several ways. Like we have uh, five days courses. Usually the standard is five day course, the standard. But also we can, so it's from nine to four and we have you know days for that. Uh, we also uh, deliver course only afternoon. So look at that evening, in fact from six to nine, 10 days, you see here, 10 days, three hours uh, each. Also, we weekend sessions. Weekend sessions are, so we have uh, six days. So here, you see 13, 14, 20, so Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. So also this is another option. And here are, it's also from 10 to four. So it is six hours. So the, you, you have the option. It's up to you. You can have five days, consecutive days, or 10 days, only afternoon, or we have the option of what? Uh, only weekends, so Friday, Saturday. Guys, I hope you have an idea about that. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Team, anything, please. Any question? Team, any, any question, please. Are we okay? Yes, is the time period you're offering is uh, fine? Sorry? Is the time period you're offering? Uh, is it okay because you said that if you don't know anything, we need two months of training, and if we get only six days training from you, will it be okay for us? Uh, you, uh, I, I, uh, you, two months training? Two months training is okay. What else? No, you are offering that only six days, right? Or, or uh, 10 days, we, 25 we have, days. Right? We have five consecutive days. Okay. Ah, by the way, what, what you have here is not us. This is PMI. PMI says that you need about 34, 35 hours of training. That's it. That's it. 30, 32, 33, 34 hours of training. That's what you need. This is the... Uh, uh, the education uh, you need, these uh, number of hours. So we split it or we distribute that either on five days or 10 days afternoons or six days weekends, two, two, two. Okay. Okay, uh, so it means that we have to take this training and then we have to do our self-preparation for the exam, right? Uh, no, let me tell you what, we'll help yes. you a lot. After we, we are, you are done training with us, uh, whatever whatever uh, way you select here, is it five or ten or six? We will have. Will you please mute yourself? Uh, we will have a WhatsApp group for one month. In that one month, we will help you while you are preparing. If you have any question, any doubts, uh, you need more reference, more explanation, something, anything will help you during that. So it's not done after the course, we are not done. We are, no, we will help you even when you want to apply for the exam. That, I'll tell you what, we need you to success. We need you to, to be successful and we need you to pass the exam. In fact, that's in our best interest. So we will follow and we will keep an eye on you until you pass the exam. That's what we will do. By the way, PMI also, they are checking what are we doing. So we need you to pass. Guys, all of you. Team, any question? Uh, sorry, one more question, please. Uh, is there any type of mock exam you're offering? So we are we no... Have, yes. We have a lot. Uh, apart from apart from the 1,000, I showed you guys, 1,000 uh, question and increasing, we have uh, so many other mock exams. Don't worry about that. This is something available all the time. Uh, not only question, questions, answers, and explanation. Team? Any question? Now, if you don't have any question, uh, guys, I need, please, to 
ask you to uh, 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 I will launch the polling here and I need you please to participate. Uh, but feel free if you want to ask me anything. Team, anything? Any question about the exam? There might be, Amish has a question on the chat. Ah, chat, uh, let me check. Uh, so where is the chat here? Just a minute. Chat. Okay. Uh, after how many days we can attend the exam once we register for the exam? And how to register for the exam? Now, first of all, after how many days we can attend the exam? You have one year. You have one year. So after you apply that I need to apply for the exam, you have to wait five days, up to five days, and PMI will answer that you are okay, now you are ready for the exam. You are ready to have uh, to book a day for the exam. You, you are ready to have a day, uh, to book a day for the exam. So after you apply, after you apply, they will check your documents, and maybe they will ask you to be to send these uh, documents. You are audited, or maybe not. Most of the time, it's not. So up to five days. You have to wait up to five days. Up to maybe maybe before. And then after you, they answer, you are ready. Go pay for the exam. Even if you pay directly after five days, you pay. You have one year to select a date for the exam. You have one year. By the way. And if you, uh, let's say, if you book after one month or two months, let's say you book after two months, and then, then uh, you cannot make it. You did not study, uh, maybe you are busy, you cannot make it. Before one month, you can delay the exam. In fact, you can delay it as much as you can. Every month, you can delay it one month, every month, uh, every month with no extra fees. The only thing is if you delay it, let's say, uh, three days before then there are some fees here. And you cannot delay it, let's say, 24 hours before. Forget about the fees you have paid. It's lost. Uh, you will lose it. So pay attention to that. As long as you, you delay, OK, postpone it early enough, no problem with that at all. And now, uh, how do we register? If you are, uh, if, if you register, I will help you with that, guys. If you want to do it yourself, I'm not saying you cannot do it yourself. Absolutely, you can. You can. The only thing that the advantage of doing that through us is what? There is only one advantage. Those guys in PMI, when you say that you have your experience in project management, they will read it. Okay, they will check. Maybe the way you, the wording you have about your experience is not correct. They will reject your application. But it's not the end of the world, because even if they reject it, you can try again. What we will help you with is avoid this kind of rejection, which is a delay. It's nothing but a delay, only delay. I mean, you can try again and reward your uh, the, the experience, uh, rephrase it, because they want to know that you are using, when you explain your experience, you are using their terminology, not yours. That's the thing. That's something we can help you a lot with. Team, any other question, please? Please, you are welcome, Fatima. You are welcome. Any question, team? In the chat, in the way, well, uh, whatever. Total fees. Total fees, total, what total fees? Our fees, if you want our fees or, or PMI fees. PMI fees, I told you. PM5, uh, I, this is, you have to pay it, 555. Unless you are a member, that will be deducted from the exam fees. Now, for us, you have to go to uh, info or sales at selecttraining.ae. Info or uh, sales at selecttraining.ae. All the information about the prices. I, I'm, I'm a trainer. I don't know about these prices. So, excuse me for that. Sales, yes, it's in the chat. Guys, it's in the chat. Sales, select group.ae. Team, please use the uh, polling, please, to vote. 
please. Thanks. You are welcome. Thank you, Maan, for the very informative session. Thank you. Thank you, team. Thank you. Any question, team? Anyone? Please. Hi, Rabia. So if you'd like to know the cost, you can either leave your email and we can email you, or you can email sales at selectgroup.ae and we'll get back to you with all the information, including prices and the dates. So it's either you want to email us or leave your email and we can email you right back. Thank you, Asan, for that. I already got uh, Rabia's email. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you.